Hi guys, welcome to Heartlight Tarot. This is going to be a reading for Virgo for the remainder of November to the beginning of December. Starting next month, I will be having these readings out on time, bi-weekly. Thank you for being here today. Um, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, what do you want Virgo to know? What do you want Virgo to know? Spare, what do you want Virgo to know? Oh, something flipped over. Let's see what it was. <clears throat> I have four cards. I'm going to go ahead and take all four cards. The bottom of the deck energy is Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles means you're coming out of the cold financially, that you are, you've been through it rough. Like, You've been um, <clears throat> struggling financially. Um, maybe you know somebody that you care about that you're trying to help out is struggling financially. And um, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. With this card, it's actually very positive. Um, it shows a struggle up until now, everything that you've learned. And you know what it is that you need to do next. You know what it is that you want for your future financially and for your foundation and for your family, for yourself. Um, so that's what you are thinking about. That's what you're here for. That's what you're you're on YouTube searching. You're, you might be looking for hope, you know. And the good thing about this card, this, this energy that you're having is you're almost there. You're almost to... A place of comfort um, all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and start from the top ace of wands ace of wands is the card that I have uh, for you your first card and um, ace of wands is the beginning of something new aces are always the beginning so um, you're taking action on something new <clears throat> you are setting a plan and you know you're going to take action in it so you you know that once you start you'll be successful in it or this is just telling you that anything that any idea that you do have it's going to be successful once you take that action because wands means action wands means doing things wands also represents fire signs so maybe you have a leo sagittarius or aries in your midst and um you guys have a new idea together you guys are um you want to move forward and do something new it could also mean a move as well maybe you're going to be moving because wands is action so you might be moving um you might be starting a new job this is possible too <clears throat> so the next card i have for you is seven of pentacles seven of pentacles is reaping the rewards of hard work it's a gentleman that's taking a break for a second after all this hard work and kind of feel like he's he kind of feels like he's been doing so much that he hasn't been able to take a breath and he's he's looking back he decides to look back on everything that he's done and he's noticing that he's finally seeing things work he's finally th seeing things happen for him and pinnacle represents our money it also represents our foundation um, <clears throat> it also represents earth signs like Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. So this is a gentleman that, or a woman, anybody, we all have masculine and feminine in our charts. <clears throat> you're taking a break and you're, you're finally giving yourself a second to breathe. <coughs> Sorry, one second. <clears throat> And you're proud of yourself. You're looking at everything that you've accomplished and you're, you're seeing that it's there's a possibility for things that to get better for you. And you know that if you continue this hard work and this path of, you know, being confident in yourself and trusting yourself, you're seeing these benefits uh, from it. And you can see finally like what it's gonna ha what's gonna happen in the future. Um, of course, we can't fully see what's going to happen in the future, but you know that everything's going to be okay. 
which is also why I think the Ace of Wands is here because you're not hesitating to take action because you see that your actions are actually benefiting you. So in order for you to have that confidence, you have to you needed to see like things working for you and you do. So you taking action, you having that fire energy to get going and keep pushing on anything that you need to do. It's there. You finally feel that confidence. Okay, and your last card, because this one's going to be your advice card, but your last card is Ace of Cups. It means emotional fulfillment, new emotional fulfillment. Just knowing deep down inside that whatever is this new thing is, whatever this new cycle in your life, whatever is coming next, whatever is your new life, is going to be very emotionally satisfying for you. And this is coming up in your near future. And I'm very, very happy for you guys. Okay, so your advice from the tarot is the Ace of Wands. Oh, sorry, the Nine of Wands. I'm like, you already got that. The Nine of Wands. So the advice is telling you from the Nine of Wands, you're almost at completion of all the action that you need to do. Basically, by handling things and and, and tackling anything that comes your way, all these actions that you've had to do, you know, your next steps, always focusing on your next steps and, and staying on top of things. And um, I just feel a lot of joy uh, right now. Nine of Wands is, is the card where you're like so tired that you're thinking about giving up kind of, but you know that you're you're almost there and you just can't because you can finally see the benefits. You can finally see things working for you. You finally have that confidence, that self-confidence, and you're looking for this Ace of Cups, this new emotional fulfillment, and you know it's right around the corner. And you just cannot stop pushing until you get there. You're almost there, Virgo, and I'm just so excited for you, and I wish you all the best. I wish you the rest of, um, the best rest of November, and I'll see you again in December.